Today we're going to look at replacing a Zinsco breaker. Replacing any breaker doesn't necessarily take an electrician to do it. Uh, if you are comfortable and you've done some electrical work before, it is possible for you to replace a breaker, including a Zinsco breaker. You just have to keep a few things in mind. There's a few areas in the panel that you have to realize where there's going to be electricity at all times, even if the main breaker is turned off. And then if you replace a breaker with the panel uh, on live, uh, there is the busing which is gonna be live all the time. So you just have to uh, realize that there's still electricity in the panel when the breaker or breakers are off. So we're gonna um, turn off the main breaker here. This shuts off all the power. So this is a 125 amp. Many times you'll see a 100 amp or a 200 amp. It's a two pole breaker. The breaker could be up here sometimes, but in this case it's right here. It's gonna shut everything down to make the whole sub panel or the whole panel safe. <clears throat> okay, so then our breaker is this guy here that we're gonna replace. So here's our circuit. Number one, and this is the tandem breaker, so I actually have two conductors. So these old Zinsco breakers, they actually have uh, two areas right here, this and this, which connect to the fins. Right here and here, inside the panel. Uh, this, this design is very old. These breakers are not made anymore, so we're actually putting an aftermarket breaker in here. So new aftermarket tandem and So you gotta be careful. <clears throat> These aftermarket breakers right here, that little tab, sometimes it sticks out too much right here at the very end to reach the busing. So I hate to do this, but sometimes you have to just open it up a little bit. You don't really wanna mess with it too much, but. So one thing to keep in mind is that modifying or changing or uh, adapting uh, any breakers, whether they're Zinsco or old breakers, uh, is never recommended. Uh, is what happens is if you loosen up the uh, internal parts of the breaker too much where they attach to the busing, uh, they won't make a good connection. They'll either be loose and the circuit won't work, or they'll make minimal contact and any small vibration will cause arcing and this will cause other significant problems overheating uh, in the panel uh, just a, 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 an array of problems so never ever adjust or tweak or modify a breaker in order to get it to fit in a panel you'll notice that this here aftermarket breaker looks like it's a little bit longer than the old original Zinsco breakers from here to here. Uh, so some people are alarmed by that. It's not a problem. Uh, it's just the design of the newer breaker because it's a tandem. Uh, there's actually two circuits. All right, so let's back these two screws off just a little bit here. So we can get our wire in there. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a little bit better view of the breaker that we just put in there. So you'll see it's a little longer here. Uh, don't be alarmed by that if you see that. Um, it'll still fit inside the panel. It's perfectly fine. Uh, it's just an aftermarket version of the same breaker. So that's what we have here is we have two uh, separate legs uh, on the same breaker, the same pole. So I think earlier I said it's a two pole. It's not a two pole. It's, it's two circuits coming off the, the same pole. So this is the screw for one of the circuits or one of the wires. For this handle here, this is the screw for the other circuit, and the other wire, which is this handle right here. So we're going to connect the wires right now. All right, so we backed the two screws off a little bit, and uh, I'm going to connect one of the wires here. Probably should have connected this wire first because the screw is all the way underneath the breaker. So I'd recommend that you look at the tandem breaker first and see where the wires terminate. In this case, it's really far underneath the breaker. So I actually missed the terminal, so I'm gonna have to check it again. here all right so that's good tighten it down that's the uh, wires tight there on the terminal this one here is a little easier to see get my conductor in there tighten the screw looks like we're good there so <clears throat> that's about it I'm going to turn it on no one's home right now so I'm going to turn on the main so, I just heard a pump turn on, there's fans. You'll, you'll hear a few things turn on when you turn the main on. Um, if someone was here and at the house, I would have them turn off all of their uh, TVs and electronics and everything, just so the load is reduced when we turn the main back on. Uh, so in this case, this, the problem circuit is here. I left those two off. And, looks like this one's a spare. We'll leave that off. That's a bad circuit right there. That's a, that's a bad breaker right there, but it's not being used. Uh, and then I'm gonna turn the two circuits on, on the breaker that I just installed. And that should be it. So we're gonna test it. See if I can give you a good view here. Hold that right here. Perfect. So I'll show you the voltage here. So that's 117. 117, so we're good. So this one of these old Zinsco breakers actually failed on the old breaker that I just replaced. Um, this breaker is, I don't know, probably 50 years old. Uh, oh, so I also wanted to show you this. Alright, so I just turned on the main and this circuit breaker for the circuits that we just replaced. Uh, I also want to show this to you. Uh, if you're in a Zinsco panel or any panel, there's some areas that are basically safe for your fingers and some areas that are not safe for your fingers. Uh, in this case, if the circuits are on, all these wires that are black and red here are basically conductors with electricity in them if the circuits are all on. The neutrals here generally are, are relatively safe, but I wouldn't trust them. For example, this right here, someone just cut it and left it in the panel. Here's a conductor here that someone just left in the panel. Uh, they cut it and left it, so we're gonna fix that. Um, but generally, the neutrals do not have electricity in them. So uh, just as a whole, I would treat every conductor as a hot conductor. Uh, but just so you understand, the colored wires here, the black and the red are hot. And actually, look at this. Someone used a neutral wire, a white wire, as a hot conductor so who knows why that happened that's not the reason why I'm here at this call but I'll note that uh, for the owner to see that uh, but basically anything that's hot with electricity in it breakers wire and then if you can see back here those two busings right there right there those have electricity on them at all times if the main breaker is on main breaker is on electricity flows to, to those two busings back there through the breakers to the wire. So if I were to turn the main breaker off, like I just had it off earlier, that busing back there would have no electricity on it. 
and then even further if you can see those two conductors back there are what Edison is supplying electricity with to this panel so electricity comes from the meter and the service above to, to be served to the panel anyway that's it replacing a Zinsco breaker pretty easy and um, be safe when you're working in panels and have a good day Thanks. always be safe with electricity um, it's always recommended that you turn off breakers when you're working on them uh, particularly the main breaker when you're working inside of a panel uh, just to be safe so Think about things, work safe, be safe, have a good day, see you on the next video.